Hey everybody, welcome to Go For Green Living. My name is Daniel. And today, I have a unique video for you. Uh, I've, done some, I've done some searching on this and uh, I couldn't find one on the topic. Uh, what pepper plants do I need to grow to feed my family? Uh, like if you you had a limited garden or something like that if you got a big garden just just disregard this and plant <laughs> as many peppers as you want to uh, but if you have a small garden or, or a patio garden uh, let me tell you the pepper plants you should grow that'll help feed your family with nutrition and with flavor uh, and plus <laughs> there's abundance of them uh, okay let's get into this and and Everybody, hey, hit the subscribe button and the bell for notification for more videos like this because this is what it's going to be about. Uh, helping you to to grow what you need to grow, uh, you know, to doing uh, methods to sustain your family. You know, the, the rocket mass, the, the adobe oven, the, the aquaponics, the greenhouses. This is this is what this channel is about, is, is growing and sustaining yourself. And, and has always been, you know, uh, becoming less reliant on uh, the uh, the government or, or anybody else to to feed yourself or your family. So anyway, let's get into this. <laughs> so hit the subscribe button and, and the thumbs up. Uh, you know, we're we're trying here. We're trying to do a good job. So y'all y'all support us the best way you can. Uh, so anyway, here, let's get into it. Now. Uh, I've, I've talked to several uh, older older people, older uh, gentlemen and, and, and ladies, and uh, you know to find out to pick their brains about the Victory Gardens. Uh, during the last pandemic or the depression, uh, there was Victory Gardens, and the Victory Gardens were literally that's all they had to eat. You raised your own chickens, you raised your own garden, you know, and if you were uh, on the poor side, that's that's what you had to eat. <laughs> you listen out for the chickens and everything. But I asked the the older gardeners, what plants did did you grow back then that sustained your family? And the number one number one pick was cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper. Now, uh, and the thing about the cayenne pepper is is one is all you need. There are going to be so many peppers. On a cayenne pepper plant, that's just one. It's all you're gonna need, and that'll give you enough spice, enough enough red pepper flakes, to get you through the entire year. Uh, I don't know many people that will eat, eat a raw cayenne pepper just to you know, pick it up and crunch it down. <laughs> but I, I could, and uh, and I probably would, but they got a, a tougher, thin skin, and you know, so it's, they're more good for, uh, they're more better for uh, flavoring your foods. I put cayenne pepper in everything. You know, just about everything. Every, everything but sweets. Uh, when I'm baking chicken, gets cayenne pepper. When, I, when I'm uh, cooking casserole, they get a little cayenne pepper. <laughs> because it's really good in and, and antibiotics and, uh, you know, it stimulates your, your, your cleanse your blood. <laughs> so it's the number one pick and you only need one plant to have enough seasoning for the entire year. Now number two was of course the bell pepper, and now and, and everybody said the bell pepper, uh, but they didn't have bell peppers like we have nowadays. They had bell peppers that were uh, uh, that grew less. Uh, they had less peppers on them, but they were larger. And and I've tried these before uh, through uh, a friend at the Master Gardeners, and I grew them, and until I lost the seeds in the fire, uh, I would have continued growing them because they were just a fantastic. Uh, red bell pepper they were kind of like the mammoth but they were really really sweet really really good now but the bell pepper you know was picked as number two now I don't suggest if you have a small area of growing a lot of bell peppers uh, because your overall production you're not going to get that much production from uh, the red bell pepper uh, it's or the green bell pepper or the yellow or the or the the purple uh, you're going to to feed your family of four uh, for the year. You're going to have to plant like 15 to 20 uh, plants and dehydrate them. And uh, that's a lot of room. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of labor for a sweet bell pepper. Now, I have a suggestion for you <laughs> to replace that. Uh, now, bell pepper is the thick wall bell pepper. It holds up, you know, when you stir fry 
and stuff like that. And it, it has the crunch to it, uh, you know, even when you uh, are cooking it. But now I have another one and uh, that re can replace the bell pepper if just what you're wanting for stir fry and stuff like that. If you're going to have stuffed bell peppers, grow, uh, grow bell peppers, you know. <laughs> but the shishitu <laughs> pepper, and I'll show you a picture of the name right now because I, I might be pro pronouncing it wrong. Hundreds and hundreds of peppers on it, thick wall that will hold up and stir fry and taste uh, very similar to a bell pepper, a little sweeter, uh, but very similar. Uh, they get a nice, uh, when ripe, they get a nice red color. Uh, they're really awesome. So that's what I suggest if you have a small space uh, growing the shishitu pepper in place of uh, the bell pepper, you know. But I grow one bell pepper, the red red bell pepper, just because it's, it's for cooking and, and stuff like that. And, okay, number three, that was the jalapeno. Uh, everybody loves jalapenos. You can do so much with the jalapeno. Uh, personally, I could eat. Uh, I like to uh, 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 put vinegar over the the green jalapenos and make a a pepper uh, pepper sauce. And I eat the peppers out of it too. You know, uh, it is really good. Uh, you know, and, and I put it on everything. But uh, my favorite to do with the jalapeno is let them get red. And I make uh, sriracha sauce. <laughs> I know I'm not pronouncing that, but sriracha sauce. Uh, I know I'm not pronouncing that right, but uh, I'll take and put the red uh, jalapenos in there, uh, serranos, which we'll get to in a minute. <laughs> the rooster. <laughs> we'll get to in a minute the serrano peppers. Uh, but also the I, I'll put a, a a scotch bonnet in there and. A ghost pepper uh, you know to make it a little hot and I actually barter uh, my sriracha sauce and my salsa you know with the green jalapenos I, you know I'll put uh, a spicier pepper in there and uh, you know to make it that much more spicy and and I can barter with my my salsa and my sriracha sauce which is hot sauce you know inevitably it's hot sauce and <laughs> The rooster wants to give me a hard time I'm sitting here. <laughs> okay, let's go to the serrano pepper. Now, the serrano pepper is a chili pepper. And you, you can take several different kinds of peppers and make chili powder. Uh, the serrano is one of the main ones. It's a little spicy for uh, for uh, chili, but I, you know that's perfect for me. Uh, Everybody that I cook it for doesn't have a problem with it, but you can take the serran uh, serrano peppers and, and dry them out and make chili powder. So you can have chili powder for the whole year. And the thing about this is, you only need one of them too. One, she's just two. <laughs> one jalapeno, no, uh, excuse me. I grow two jalapenos because I like a lot of sauce uh, for the year because I go through it pretty quickly and, and a barter. If I had room, I would grow a whole raised bed and, and nothing but peppers, but I don't have the room in, in this this particular garden. When I get the greenhouse going, then then that'll be, be different. But Serrano, I also add, the Serrano, I also add to my uh, Serrancha sauce. I know I'm saying that wrong. I also add the Serrano to the Serrancha sauce. They have a thick wall. Uh, jalapenos have the thick wall. That's why they do so well in stir fries and everything. It's the thin wall uh, peppers like the cayenne that, that don't do well in them. So, but anyway, so I'll also add those to uh, my sriracha sauce and it, and it makes it a little bit spicier. But uh, but that's pretty much what they grew. I mean, they grew, they had uh, seed catalogs that they could go through and uh, they pick out seeds just like us. But not a lot of places they go by the plants. They had, they had to plant them. So they, they stuck with the basics as, as from what I can gather. Uh, they had, you know, some people had different ones and they traded back and forth. Well, I have this kind of pepper. You're gonna trade this kind of pepper. But uh, let me add a couple of my personal favorites. Uh, and, and I'll tell you why I'm adding these. Uh, Scotch bonnet. 
Now that's that's a hot pepper. Uh, right here I have an imitation scotch bonnet. I couldn't find the real thing. Uh, but one of those in a whole uh, big pot of soup is all you need to flavor up to make that one in that that one pot of soup will make it spicy enough for everybody and not too spicy for everybody to eat it so uh, you know that and plus I love the flavor of uh, the scotch bonnet and and the imitation uh, the imitation one that I have which is just a, a hybrid off that one uh, this year I couldn't be real picky because uh, I'm having to buy from Bonnie's best plants and and I don't have the seeds anymore uh, but it's okay. After this year, I'll have seeds for the, for these particular plants. Now, I, I add that, and I also add that to my sriracha sauce, you know, to make it spicier, to make it barter, uh, more barter friendly, because people, you know, they you say, well, this is really hot, you know. For that reason, I also grow the ghost pepper. Yes, the ghost pepper. One of the hottest peppers in the world. I don't grow the scorpion or the... Uh, 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 the reaper uh, they're just they're just too far out there uh, the ghost pepper you can put a partial in in your whole pot of a uh, sriracha sauce and it'll make it it's hot I mean it'll be hot but it'll be manageable that uh, that you'll enjoy the flavor and uh, of course we're gonna get into that too and I'm gonna start sharing uh, those kind of videos on how I make my sriracha sauce and my salsa and and how I barter them <laughs> Because in today's world, we're going to need as, as a network of, of bartering people to, to trade back and forth stuff. Now, I also add, uh, because I love them, a roasting pepper. And mostly all you can find is the poblano, poblano, <laughs> poblano pepper. And uh, I love the poblano pepper. I'll, I'll take it out, stuff it with rice and cheese and beef and, and uh, a little bit of seasoning and bake it oh baking peppers they don't grow many but boy for a meal we just like wow that was a really good meal got my mouth water <laughs> thinking about it, having stuffed peppers but i only grow one of those and uh i usually get you know maybe uh 10 meals out of it you know something like that uh there, there's another pepper the sorry about that my camera went dead <laughs> kind of happens when you get out of practice from using it <laughs> but anyway I, I was saying I have an older pepper that I, that I found at, at one of the, the stores where you buy the plants and all that it's an Anaheim pepper and and I've asked several questions after people about it and it's been around a long time it's like a, a in between a, a hot banana and a jalapeno hotness and all that so I thought I would try uh, try the Anaheim pepper just to see how it is. Uh, I know there's another uh, big baking pepper. I think it's called an Anaheim chili. Uh, I'm not sure uh, <laughs> exactly. I wanted to try that one too when I saw it in the in the magazine. But anyway, if you grow these peppers along with all your other stuff. Uh, you'll be a lot further along sustaining yourself than growing to sweet uh, sweet bell peppers because you're not going to get much. You're maybe going to get two or three meals out of them, maybe four, maybe five if you're pushing it. Five meals for growing a crop that takes 75 days to start producing, you know, and then uh, they barely make it through the whole season to, to ripen up, especially if they're red or, or orange or yellow. So, uh, bell peppers are not my favorite uh, peppers to grow because of the time and the, the limited number of peppers that are on there. Now if you grow them, uh, you know, you put them in pots and you carry them over the next year, they'll get better and better and better and better. They'll, they'll, they'll get bigger fruits. Y'all seen it. Y'all seen it up there in my greenhouse. Bell peppers this big. Jalapenos this big from growing, uh, you know, keeping, carrying them over for two or three years. 
you really have to support the limbs because they're going to break the limbs. Uh, the fruit is going to break the limbs. And, and I learned that lesson the hard way. And then you're going to wind up with what you had initially was a plant this size that, uh, you know, you're just starting over. So support support the branches if you're going to carry them over. But I've seen a jalapeno plant six foot tall. <laughs> Jalapenos this big. And I was like, I was amazed. I was like, whoa. And they were good. They were hot. They were spicy. <laughs> Imagine how much sriracha sauce you could make with that. Uh, yeah. But yeah, y'all stick around. Y'all stick around. Uh, and, and, you know, and uh, get ready for these videos coming up. Uh, I have one on, on uh, plantain, a, a collaboration video coming up on plantain. You see this, this <laughs> dinner plate plantain that I have here. About the size of my head. Of course. I got a big head, <laughs> but I have some bigger than my head. I could actually wear as a hat. Uh, it's been a very good year for going plantain and and all the wild edibles. They're they're going crazy right now, uh, and my garden's going crazy. It's just the perfect year for growing right now. Uh, so anyway, y'all stick around, and uh, I got the collaboration video coming. I have a bunch of video coming up, uh, salsa video, uh, because, you know, I love to barter and trade, uh, I had some solar videos coming up, uh, I had some, uh, uh, well, just a ton of videos, and, uh, y'all do me a favor, <laughs> if, if y'all stuck around this time, then you're one of my loyal, uh, watchers, uh, Alabama Homestead, it's, it's Anna's channel, I'll put a link down below, uh, she would really like if I would go and subscribe to her. She's trying to start her, her own channel. And I just got her SD card so she can start making more videos and, and stuff like that. And so she's having fun with it. So do me a favor. Run over there and show her support uh, if you don't mind. I would really appreciate it. Alright guys. I love you. And I'll catch you on the next video. Grow your peppers. Ani Ove Ocha. Means I love you in Hebrew. Later guys.